How's it going guys? My name is Graham, welcome to Two Left Thumbs. You're watching a video promoting the Patreon for Sock Pop Collective, a group of indie game developers who for the last year and a half have been releasing two Game Jam style games every month. If you want to be a part of it and support them, you can get access to those two games per month for as little as $3 over on their Patreon. There's a link down below to their Patreon page, you can go and pledge there. There's also a link to their itch.io page where you can buy the individual games for $3. Also, in case you want to put it off until the end, the end card at the end of this video is also going to be a link to their Patreon page. Page. Thanks for listening and I hope you enjoy the video. I, I do just kind of want to show the itch page for this one for a second here. Pair Quest. It's a game set on a big tiny island. 20 characters to meet. Really good voice acting. I thought that was funny that they're kind of calling themselves out a little bit ahead of time there. An hour plus of gameplay and an optional side quest. Larger by quite a bit than the average sock pop game, but I, I'm, I'm curious to see what all they managed to squeeze into this one. We're already getting this chill, like acoustic guitar uh, in, in the opening screen here. There we go. Now, now we got a little bit more to look at. Oh, that's funny. I can play, I can zoom it back out again though if I want. Wait, does this entire game take place in like this one screen? I'm seeing like a cool fox, a couple of looking like uh, penguin characters, there's like a snake, a ghost. If this entire game is this one screen, that's like the most amazing thing I've ever seen. <laughs> he kind of did a face plant when he landed. Oh no, wake up! Wow, it's really hard to read that text. Read. Press Z to jump. Okay, so I got, I got, I can move around in this, in this space. I can move up and down different layers and things like that. How's it going, fish? Hey. They say the big pear is gonna fall? <laughs> and I'm hiding. Wait, how did you get here? I was expecting it to actually be voice acted, but all he did was, Hey! hey. <laughs> I guess that's, uh, I guess that's it. I guess you just get, like, one syllable to, to express your opinions. Can I talk to that crab? Oh, man. Oh, am I a little rabbit? I think I'm a little rabbit creature. That explains why I can hop around so dang good. Oh, that crab, he's scared of me. Maybe that's my side quest, figuring out how to talk to the crab. Secret passage this way. Ooh. Look at that, already finding the secrets. This guy looks like he's a construction guy trying to like saw things. I'm supposed to fix that bridge, but I lost my hammer. It's really hard to see sometimes whether it's like an O or an A when it's such a tiny little thing. I do wish that the dialogue wasn't committed so hard to being so tiny. Bridge closed until further notice. Dang, man. Well, I'll keep an eye out for a hammer for you. Hoot hoot. Hey, bunny, over here. Yeah, yeah, let's talk. What do you, what, what, what were you wanting to talk about? You look kind of lost. If you're ever stuck, just ask me. Hoot hoot. All right, man, like, what's your, what's your first suggestion then? I wouldn't mind, I wouldn't mind hearing what you gotta say. I saw some birds steal that bear's hammer. That's a bear? All right. And the more I know. Oh, the sheep is not a character. <laughs> sanctuary. Oh, sanctuary is this way. I'm not at the sanctuary yet. Uh, I'll go there later, I guess, because I can't figure it out just yet. You there, though. Pear City is closed. Get lost. Oh, he legit won't let me through. All right, well, I'll go try to help other people with their problems, I guess. Hopefully, hopefully. Oh, I see a bird up top here. How do we get up to that bird? I feel like if I get up there, then I can I can solve that that issue first. Beach closed, no entry. Well, I I kind of just I kind of just figured that one out on my own though. Oh, I might not be able to go back across that secret passage though. I think that's like closed off to me now. Oh, I managed to jump around a bunch until I popped out to the the sanctuary. I wish my fur fi fire was still burning. Oh well, I'll try and I'll try and commit some light arson for you if you feel like that would help out. Hmm, I wanted to look at some bones in here. Is that what he's saying? Bones? Oh, maybe you're the bird with the hammer. I gotta figure out how to get up to you. There we go. To just do a little bit of a loop around. Who stole my egg? I don't know, man. If you give back the hammer, though, then we can kind of work a little something out. I help you, you help me. Maybe just a little bit. 
I feel like there's some sense of direction there, at least, even if I don't know specifically who to talk to or how, how to make pretty much any of this happen at this stage still. Ah, it's totally locked. Kind of figured that would be the case. Shake. Oh. Ah, I can pick up sticks and things? That's not at all what I expected. Uh, come on, man. I'm trying to, I'm trying to put that in the guy's fire. I'm trying to help him make his fire with this. Damn it. <laughs> Why is it so hard? Maybe it's not actually where it's meant to go. Maybe I'm not supposed to use it to, to build a fire with. How many, how many separate twigs are you willing to give me? Oh, if I shake it out of here, it just, it just is resetting. Hmm. Well, at least I know that's there if I ever figure it out. Oh, I wish I could figure out what path I used to make it into the sanctuary, because now, now I feel kind of stuck over here. Uh... <laughs> the sheep's paw when you get close to it is just incredible. Uh... It's a little bit different every time, too. Always hilarious. Uh... Oh! Oh wait, I'm gonna, when, as soon as I figure this out, then I, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna light the stick on fire at the other fire and bring it over to this guy. There, oh yeah, totally lit on fire. I, I just tried walking it in before, but you do have to kind of drop it. Drop it in place. There, you lit the fire. Here, take this. What you got for me, dude? Hook me up. Oh god. <laughs> he just spit out the egg regurgitated it. Well, it makes sense that the snake is the one who ate your egg. Hey, give that back, you thief! Take this! Oh, is he gonna start hammer broing me? <laughs> yeah, man, you can take your egg. I don't, I don't want it. I don't need it. Whoops. Not trying to cause any trouble. You take it. I kind of hoped that the bird would do a little bit of a thing where we could see them like, oh, you, you totally go through the log. I was doing all this stuff trying to jump around it, and it just kept working after repeated tries. Uh, I guess I finally figured that one out. I was hoping we'd, we would see the bird swoop down and collect the egg. I dropped the hammer somewhere, and I don't really know where. Oh, well, you found the hammer now. You can repair stuff. I don't actually pick up the hammer. I had to restart, by the way. I don't actually pick the hammer up to bring it specifically back to the bear. I think I just get it now. Hey, you found it! But I just get to keep it, I think. Can you also fix the bridge for me? Thanks. Yeah, I guess I'll get on that, dude, seeing as you don't seem to have any plans to do it yourself. Uh, is this a weird clown selling balloons or something? Pop-up balloon shop. It's a pop-up balloon shop. There's, it's funny, there's layers there. Oh, God, it just came out this week. So it's a very anti-clown at the moment. Oh, hey, you totally hooked me up with a balloon. I don't know what to do with it for right now, so I'm just gonna have it over there. Ah, uh, you've lost it. Here's a new one. Will it just, yeah, it just, it moves, it moves the other one. Ugh, not a fan, not, not into this clown right now. No worry about that later. Snail races? That's very Undertalian. There's a lot of noises for that one. I'm the fastest snail there is. Wanna race me? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I do. How do I how do I start it? Oh, it's on. Is he gonna kick my ass? Is he actually super fast? Oh, I tried to make sure I didn't get like a false start or anything. Ah! No fair! That was a fluke! But do I do I like get anything for it? Do I am I am I just the champ now? It's you. Time for a rematch. Turtle legs. See, it's, is that a, is that an insult? It's like the tortoise and the hare, but I kind of already am the hare. Now he'll be fast, surely, right? Oh, he's still just a snail. I mean, he's the fastest snail there is. Maybe he should be challenging other snails, you know? Just wait. I'll beat you next time. All right. Well. I, I gotta go meet some other people before we commit to yet another one of those. Pear City is closed. Maybe you could sneak in? Well, is it closed because we're worried that this teetering pear is gonna roll down and crush everyone? Seems like a good reason to stay out. What about you, Fox? I love I love the fact that this crazy lo-fi. I lost my chickens. If you find one, put it in the chicken pen. Oh, that's just for eating, though, isn't it? Oh, I see where he is already. He's next to this tree up here. But, like, uh, I like I like how you can tell, like, oh, yeah, it's a sheep. That's a fox. That's a little frog man. 
This is a chicken. Even though they're like six by six pixels or whatever, they're like as tiny as they could possibly be. I see a little treasure going on there. There's another crab. It is a different crab. The other, they're, they're, they're both out. Seems like that might be its own side quest of sorts. Right platform. Okay. This looks like an actual chicken person now though. Hello, you here to fly to Frog Cove? Ooh. Flights to Frog Cove. Now, I'm only three coins at the ticket printer. Please insert three coins to print ticket. Dang. Guess I'll have to earn me some three coins somewhere. It's weird to play this just after Whamu Whamu 2, where you literally earn three coins by doing that game, and that it all had to do with fruit and stuff. It's like a weird connection there. Beware of the dog. I'm sure he's nice if you gave him a chance. Oh, no, he, he just comes running straight out at you, doesn't he? I don't think he's that nice after all. Oh, there's a little back area here underneath the waterfall. Boom, is this going to be where I get all my coins? Maybe it'll just be like one. <laughs> I think it's literally just one coin. But I got the first, the first one. Ding dong, coin inserted, two coins to proceed. All right, well, you just remember that I paid one. I don't want to come back here and have you forget my face and tell me that I still owe three, because that is no longer the case. Ah, it's locked. But if I get that chicken over to there, I bet he'll let me through. I probably have to repair this other bridge. Lookout point, bridge out of order. Yeah, but can I repair this bridge? Hmm, maybe that's beyond my means. But, can I float across it or something if I hold the balloon? Nice! Okay, there was like a chance that that was gonna work. It seemed reasonable to me. What's up, dude? I, uh, I got your chicken for you. I hope I put it in the right place. I lost my chickens. If you find one, put it in the- Oh, I was probably supposed to put it right here, wasn't I? Um, how do I get that back? Oh, good. Good, good, good. This is where you want them? Nice, you found one. There are seven in total? Oh, holy crap. Another one, thank you. Yeah, I was not expecting there to be so many. I've got to glance around the map and see what's all going on here. That's a that's a lot, dude. I didn't realize that's what I was getting myself in for when I, when I started this initially. The sewer grate looks like it would be a way to sneak in. Oh, can I hop across the lily pads? Dang, that seemed like a thing. I keep losing all my animals. Well, you're built to scare them away, aren't you? You're, it seems like you're doing a pretty good job then, if that's what's supposed to be going on. Growing old lily pads is prohibited. Oh, there's another There's another chicken here. I, but I, I, I don't know how to get up to that one. Maybe similar thing? That's a long ways to float, though. It's too far to float. Oh, but there is yet another one right here. Okay, I did not realize that they were just kind of everywhere. I, I just like immediately saw the one next to his house and was like, oh yeah, that one's supposed to be there. That one is not lost. Apparently it was. And then I didn't realize that they're like literally everywhere else. Well, I can use the lookout to just look at the pear in case anyone was unclear why it's called Pear City. Mm-hmm. Hmm. What do we think that's going to be for? I'd like to fly across here again and see what else may be out this way. Hmm, I don't think there is anything really. Am I supposed to like rob this guy while he's busy racing or something? Like what if I what if I do some goofy stuff and mess around with him a little bit? Nah, he's just really easy to beat. <laughs> Underneath this bridge, there's like something going on with a little circle there, like if I could get a lily pad there or something. I also see that there's this little penguiny, creepy bird character with a key, and when I get too close, he runs into his house. So there's something very specific going on there. If I had to guess, it's probably like the cemetery key. I don't really see other locations that would uh, need a key. Oh, do I have to go to the graveyard to get a bone to give to the dog? Starting to try to piece some of this stuff together, even if I'm, I'm maybe getting a little too ahead of myself in a lot of ways. I heard the racing snail has a bunch of lily pad seeds. Oh, I bet I just have to let him win. I bet his like pride is all hurt and everything right now. So I'll, I'll challenge him to a rematch. I beat him like three or four times if I just let him win. 
and presumably a different outcome will happen. I'll just sit here and enjoy this. Make it look like I made an effort at least. The way the music was like wrapping up as it went was super funny. Look how proud he is of himself. Yes, I win. Here, this loser seed is for you. Thanks. I appreciate it. <laughs> and I believe that would go here, plant the seed. I kind of had figured out that something needed to go there. You can't really hop across lily pads, but there is like a direct line now. It's just treating it as like a continuous path that you can go along. Look at me, pretty much broken into the city at this point. Now just explore around a little bit. There's a little door here. Where do where does it go? Oh, no, okay, it just takes me up to wherever this guy is. The labyrinth. I'm not coming out until the police officer is gone. And and otherwise you're just kinda you're just blocking the way there. Alright, well I'll see if I can uh, get that guy fired or something, maybe. <laughs> if he just realizes that I snuck straight past Aww. him so easily. I want to play, but I lost my ball. I'll keep an eye out for you, buddy. That's what we do for each other here in Pear City. Oh, he's got a little beatbox he's playing. A boombox is the word that I want. This older looking character, meow. Looks, It looks like they're holding a walker. I feel like that's what's going on there. Oh, so cute. How about you? Are you willing to come on out? Go away! Can I, can I knock? Hmm. It's locked. Can't just go barging straight in. Another, another frog character. Pear City Restaurant. Please wait to be served. You there? You enjoying your meal? That crow is the gravekeeper. She's very, she's very private. This who they keeps running, running around. It makes sense. I was pretty sure the key was for the graveyards. So that that totally makes sense to me. Will the police officer wig out if I sneak up behind him like this? Pear City is closed. Get lost. Oh, well, you know, can't really stop me. I'm already on the other side there. It's locked. What do you got going on back here, Mr. Hedgehog? I can make a warm sweater if you give me enough wool. Oh, I gotta find a way to shear me some sheep then. I don't know who wants a sweater other than myself. I want one. I would, I would love to have a, a nice warm sweater. I found the second treasure chest, the second coin. I can go pay a little bit extra. There's like a there's like a frog just on the other side of the wall there with like one of the bulging. I just realized I uh, can I get my mouse on the screen. No, I can't even. But off in like the forest, there's some enormous sleeping rabbit out there that's absolutely ridiculous. I love it. That's my new favorite character. That I desperately want to meet them. I gotta go deposit this coin before I lose it. I feel like the I'll, I'll put it down somewhere and forget, and then I'll be totally. Duck. One more coin to print uh, Print my last ticket. Can I just go up the, the stairs here? Oh, that that looked like it was some sort of arch over top of things. No, it's totally just a, a gate that I have to find my own way through. I haven't seen a ball around. What could I do for this guy with his basketball? Oh, is that it just on the other side here? All right, I might be able to jump down there. There's like those little, that, that type of box specifically that you can jump up on. Seems like it would be very simple. Oh yeah, okay, well, uh, it, it was simple then. <laughs> Your ball was not very far, dude. You happy? Aww. You got it? I wanna play, is this not a ball? Did I misunderstand what uh, object this is? There we go. Hey, my ball! Thanks, a, a, a bun, a bun, a bunch. A bunch is probably what he said. If you want to relate to, re relate to Crow, stand on her roof first. Really? If you want to talk to Crow, stand on her roof. Okay, I can get up on there. You want to chit chat? Can we talk? Ho oh, ho 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 ho! I got you cut off. Hello, hello. The the graveyard. Sh sh uh, sure. You here's the key. Thanks. <laughs> it's a lot easier than uh than talking with people, I guess. Just to to hand it over immediately. The police officer running around all furious, thinking they're doing their job well. What's up, dude? I figured it out. 
Hey, nice! You opened it. Let's see what they have here. The, I, I don't, I don't have a tool to dig. You dug up a bone. Okay. I guess I guess I didn't need a tool for that the way I thought I would. R.I.P. My leg. Is that just a leg bone? Gross. Aaron, Timjin, Tom, and up top here, Rubnatch. It won't budge. Uh, those, those are the name of the different developers from the Sock Pop Collective. I'm guessing this is a Rubna game then, if they didn't give themselves a, a gravestone. I apologize that I have literally never seen this name outside of the Sock Pop, Pop Collective, and for that reason I've never heard it said out loud, and so I don't actually know how to say it. I'm sorry about that. I I don't see why I need to move this. Maybe I gotta maybe I gotta move it the uh, specific direction. Some sort of like cave underneath, very Legend of Zelda esque. I guess I can just take that bone over to that dog. Oh, ho, ho, ho. we had a chicken hidden in the back there. I'm wondering if finding the chickens is the side quest. I, I don't know which of this is necessary for completing the game and which is just like fun little extra. So that should make for four chickens. Yeah, that makes four. That's what he said. I believe I would have to balloon jump from somewhere <laughs> high to get to there. There's kind of a fence in the way here, otherwise I would think that that's it. Maybe that is still the right the right spot. I just gotta I just gotta line it up a bit better. Oh, I'm kind of on the other side of the fence. Hmm. Oh, did I do it? Yeah, I totally did it. Okay, I think I was actually standing on the fence when it finally worked. So you need that for that extra little bit of height to, to get clear there. Alright, so I got one more chicken taken care of. I know that I can go grab this bone to go give to the dog. I'll check in with the, the owl to see if there's anything else. That police officer wants to leave unless someone rings the big bell. Okay, and so I'll be able to go deliver the bone to the dog, which hopefully gives me access to the bell tower. Things are coming together. And then there's that character outside the labyrinth who like very specifically said they want the officer gone. Gotta figure out how to shear sheep. That's its own own thing still. Dog wants a bone. Yeah. I'm a genius. Killing it out here. First I'm gonna root around in your stuff, because now I see that there is a treasure chest over there with the last coin. I just have no idea how to get to it. I guess it makes the most sense to do this while I'm here. Oh, I actually went inside of it. That was neat. Big ring. Quick! All units to Big Bell Tower. Ooh, no, if you guys are coming running this way, then I'm I'm out of here. I gotta go do something else. But first, I gotta see if there's like a chicken hidden around here or anything like that. Ooh, do I have to like take the bone back away from the dog or anything like that? I'm gonna leave the bone really nearby there. Uh, it just makes me think that the police officers won't actually be able to get to there themselves. And then maybe that, there, I see, I see him running across. And if he can't get to it, because otherwise he would probably get there and then return or something like that. I should probably get moving just in case he is on like a, a timer or something and will. Oh, he went straight past the dog. All right, I have a very limited amount of time then to go and go do this. Uh, dude, hey, what's up up top here? I got rid of the police for you. The police officer has gone. Well, it's my lucky day. What kind of sneaky thing are you gonna get up to? I think it's like a raccoon or something. He looks like he has little bandit eyes. Hmm. What does it mean? I'll I'll I'll, I'll figure it out for you. Just need some help with your your puzzle. Whatever you got going on there. It's uh, I can't even I can't even tell. I uh, it looks like you just need uh, uh this piece here. Did I solve it for you? Is that the one thing that was missing? Aha! <laughs> I'm a genius. Something about a fish. I only have my one fishing buddy. Well, that doesn't tell us a whole lot, but it, it does tell me a little bit of something. We also, is, are, are, is this like another piece of your, your puzzle? Oh, slowly. Oh no, wait. I think it says mama. <laughs> it's a, uh, hmm, a little peculiar. Oh, I can climb up this whole big pyramid. 
I bet there's some sort of big balloon jump you can do off that. Oh, I can walk up this back way here. I almost, I almost kind of missed that. This very right. cold looking penguin. I'm so cold. Well, I'll help you as best I can. Maybe you just want to go hang out by the several fires that exist in this map. Oh, I got the, presumably the last piece of this puzzle for you, buddy. There it is. Float down from the top of the pyramid to reach the labyrinth. Well, that doesn't make sense at all. <laughs> time to just give up. Time to time to phone it in. We're never we're never getting to the bottom of that one. I'm, I I don't know I don't know what I can do for you, buddy. Oh, but I can take your boat. I can get into your boat. I can't I can't seem to actually do anything with your boat. Uh there, yeah, the other the officer just stayed over by the tower there. I guess I guess he's not coming back. Hey hey, there is a chicken stashed away up here. Woohoo! Do a quick jump back across. Does that make five or six? Oh, another one. Almost there. You found six out of seven. Okay, great. That all came together splendidly. Now seems like a good time to point out that there are people in the comments who managed to speed run this game in like five minutes. There's some sort of exploit that you can do, and I don't know exactly how or what it takes. But uh, yeah, there's definitely like a thing that you can do to blast through this game. I see now what the labyrinth is, so I, I think I need to jump across to what I just jumped at. Oh, I probably need to use the boat to get to that island, not not the balloon. So I'll just try to keep making this jump a few more times. Oh man, that took plenty of times. That was actually quite difficult to pull off. But now I, I'm I'm in the labyrinth, I believe. It's uh it's a little confusing as to what's actually going on here. That looked like a dead end. But, like, I legit can't see where else to go. There's this little bit that, like, loops around on itself that is especially confusing. Is this picture actually showing me the layout of the labyrinth? Can I use that to solve this? The pear is rocking more than it ever was before, isn't it? There was a time where it felt, like, barely noticeable. And I don't know if it's the amount of time I've been playing or the like uh amount of progress i've made in the game or whatever but it reminds me of like majora's mask that there's some impending doom of this pair potentially falling on everyone oh i just realized i have to make a sweater for the penguin i'm jumping back across to here because i am gonna see if i needed to keep the balloon but there's like there's so few directions oh my goodness i could not tell that i could go that way before there's some weird like layered impossible uh optical illusions going on there i it makes sense eventually what is this it looks like a giant whistle or something but i i cannot tell what it is actually for or how i could uh use it oh it's half of this heart probably yeah okay and then the other piece is to the left of the pair up there so I'll eventually have to go past my my big fluffy bunny buddy who's hanging out up top there. At least I have this quick skip now at this point that I don't actually have to uh, go all the way around with the police officer. Time to check in with you and see see what you might have to recommend. Have you heard of Heart Gate? You need two pieces to open it. Yeah, I figured that out myself. I'm looking for new info now. Dang. Dang, just kind of stuck in that loop. How the heck do I get wool? I would really love to have some wool. Maybe I gotta try to figure out how to get to that last treasure chest. I can't think of any other, like, half-completed storylines or little mini-quests to, uh, to address. There are the stairs on, like, the other side of it. Oh, I think I had to stand up on the fence again to get the extra little height in my jump there. And now I was able to get it. So I can, I can use that extra little flight. Which I don't know if it'll take me to that little island or if it'll take me off to the, the far side of things there where like the big rabbit is and stuff like that. But either way, this will be a uh, new stretch of the adventure. Payment complete. Printing now. Ding, ding. Yay. 
you love my little ticket. You, you see what's going on there. Do you want me to physically bring it to you? You bought the balloon ticket. Ooh, my first ever sale, perhaps? <laughs> Thanks for the purchase. You're all set to fly now. Well, let me, let me aboard. I'm eager. I may be a bunny, but I'm feeling like a beaver. Coming. Ugh. I can't just take it by myself. You don't trust me to return it in one piece. Here we go. It looks kind of like he's flying me. Oh, okay, it looked like it was going straight towards that island, but now I think he's going all the way across to that little, little platform in the far left corner there. I can play around with all the frogs and things out there, get the other piece of the heart, but that, that uh, is definitely not completing all of the tasks because I, I never sheared the wool, I never made a sweater, I never helped the, the, the penguin. Maybe that's the optional quest, but if I do that, then he'll let me borrow his boat and I can go see what's going on up top there. I gotta find a seventh chicken. I got things to do. I'm not sure how close I am to like wrapping it all up with my current trajectory here. Thanks for the lift, though. I'm gonna go do my own thing. Oh, you can wig out the frogs real hard, kind of like the crabs. The, they, the frogs don't totally disappear. Frog cave or cove. It's very hard to tell with this font since it's just like a, a square block of letters. Oh, another little, another little log tunnel to squeeze through. I'm gonna check in all these edges to see if there's a, a loose chicken or anything out this way. Doesn't seem to be, so I guess I'm just gonna jump up on this guy's belly. I like the way it jiggles around and bounces when you do so. But uh, otherwise, he's just kind of like a Snorlax or whatever. I need to some other way to wake him up. Maybe I, maybe something needs to be uh, dropped down on him from up high or something here. We got this big lookout point going on. What about you? Oh, you can I can grab the frogs. Get back here then. I want to see what that is. I want to see what happens if I pick up a frog. There's frogs on the wall all around that piece of the the heart there. Do I need to collect all the frogs and and bring them here? If I if I get four frogs in this room, then maybe maybe a lily pad will emerge and allow me across or so, or something like that. And that one isn't where I thought it was. I don't actually know quite how to get up to it. Oh! Frog Cove exit. One way only. Oh, uh, be careful with that. I don't want to have to go all the way around again. <laughs> the way they just kind of slap around when they get jumping is really silly. But I got three of them in one in one spot there. I just need to figure out how to get up to this. Get up to this last one here. I, I, I got no no real indication currently. I should have some sort of camaraderie with the frogs, or toads, seeing as we're, we're hop, hop-based creatures. Well, if I open this up and exit out of here, can't I just leave the door open? Will the door close behind me? I kinda need to come back here. I don't know what to do without the flight thing available. Maybe I can tell them to go wait for me at the other platform in case I need to come back or when I when I inevitably do need to come back. I took the balloon back across and now I'm uh, actually legitimately struggling to figure out where the heck that access point is. I might not be able to, to go through the door that I opened up for myself. Hogs? Hogs? Sock shop? I think is what that reads. It's funny, sock pop, they have a sock shop going on. What what is this one? This this building that's not doing anything. I didn't even steal anything. I just borrowed a coin for a bit. Uh I I guess that's why he's on the run from the cops, but that doesn't really doesn't help me any further. Oh, I totally found the access point. Okay. There, that it's now 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 I'm stuck on the other side of it. I I just have to go through it from a way I wasn't totally expecting. First you can climb up on the Pear City Wall, and then you can kind of jump around back on this little roof up over to here, and it drops you down into it. And now, now you're back. Back and still just totally unsure how the hell to get at this guy. There, I did it! Oh, man! Okay, I'll have to include that little 
second lead up of how I how I actually got to it. Hey, I, I ushered him in here without actually even picking him up. Is that what you guys were were hoping for? Is that what you wanted? Was the, the having having all the frogs? Uh, maybe I got to chuck them onto their lily pads. That's totally that's totally the the last step that I'm missing here. Well, don't you guys go back out through the little log tunnel. I need these frogs to stay out of the logs. They're a bit of a pain to rustle up, actually. But there, I've, I've brought you all of the frogs that you need. And now I can have my special heart piece. But there's still, like, other things left for me to do. I, uh, I just don't know how to go about it, really. I, might as, I mean, I might as well deliver the last piece here. Ooh, the first little splash of color. I like when a game does that when it's all black and white throughout. Well, how the heck do I shear these sheep? Because I feel like there's a few last key things that will fall into place once I take care of that. All right, I, I did the gate thing. Now what? You've done a lot, bunny. What will you do now? Well, honestly, the main thing is I got to figure out these sheep. My job here is done. Time to relax. You didn't do anything. I also don't think I have a way to make it back to the little fish hanging out on the beach. It's, it's blocked off and I, I don't see a way back. I saw the fox with some scissors. I gotta find the seventh chicken. That's my, that's my next step then. I can't just pick up this random bird character and, and go chuck them into the pen and call it good. That's, uh, that's not gonna work out. That's not gonna fly with anyone. I feel like there must be a chicken up in or around this forest somewhere that I missed. Seems like it seems like the sort of place that maybe could have done with further exploration. Like this, this goofy thing that like sticks out the edge here that I can't seem to find a purpose for. Maybe it's not meant to have a purpose, but it certainly seems like a whole bunch of nothing. I never actually sat myself at the restaurant, and there's clearly another chair here. Maybe, maybe you don't actually sit? Wait, did it say wait to be seated, or, or go ahead and seat yourself? Please wait to be served. Not seated, just to be served. So if I sit like that, does that count? Oh man, there's totally like a little fish, a little fish wait, waiter that comes out. Hello, how may I help you? I don't know, man. I I got no specific requests. You you bring me the finest of everything you have, I guess. <laughs> ah, the carrot. Very nice, Monsieur. Here you are. Oh, and I can take the carrot to the big rabbit. All right, see you later, I'm taking this to go. Bon appetit. <laughs> I can take this out to the big rabbit and maybe he was laying on top of a chicken. I can scrape up the dead smush chicken and that'll be good enough for the fox. I didn't say I'd bring them all back in one piece. Carrot. I, I assumed that would have uh, some sort of a, a immediate effect. Huh. Well, if you're not just gonna take it, I don't know how to like feed it to you or anything, dude. Chuck it from down here. That just made so much sense. Oh, no, no, no. This suddenly, this makes sense of why this exists. Right? Probably? Nah, he's a sleepy boy. Oh uh, man, I, I went looking in the Discord because I didn't know what the hell to do. It turns out that the big sleeping bunny and the gravestone that you can't move are kind of unintentional red herrings. There just uh, wasn't enough time and development to, to add any sort of functionality to those particular things. So I will not have to commit to that any further. I, I I know that I can abandon the big bunny, but there is stated to be something you can do with the carrot. I just don't know what. I'm the rabbit. There are, are there other rabbits other than me and the big rabbit? I feel like I maybe just got up to a new area. Oh no. Oh no. Did I just jump somewhere where I've stuck myself? Yeah. Yeah, I think I just jumped somewhere I wasn't supposed to be able to go and have suddenly soft locked the game. Damn it. <laughs> Thought maybe I was finally gonna figure out where this stupid chicken is. I'm gonna have to close this and restart, which really sucks. All right, I played back through to where I was 
And I also went in the Discord and was like, guys, I can't figure out this seventh chicken at all. I got no ideas. And I was told it's in the city. So I'm kind of just poking around the city trying to see what I might have missed. There's this little rooftop hopping that you kind of do. You end up up top here. And that's how you fetch that one frog. And so I'm wondering if this similarly... Ah, no, see, that just dropped me off the wall. But I'm wondering if somewhere up around there is like a similar idea to what I need to be doing. It's funny, the place I got stuck before I had to restart is totally where a chicken was. That was just one of the ones I had already gotten to, and it had been a little while, and I kind of forgot that I had already uh, done that one. So that was a bit of a waste, a bit of a shame that that's how I managed to pause that. Oh, I ended up on the roof of this building. I don't know if I've been up on that roof before, but that still is not a, not a chicken. If it's in the city, oh, behind this tree. I was going to say, the city's not that large. There's not that many places I should have left to check. Ooh, that was a tricky one. It's funny to achieve something that's given me so much trouble, but really what I'm doing is just creating a new round of work for myself. That's the last one! Now I should get the scissors, hopefully? Wow, you found them all! Here, take these scissors. Honestly, if I spent all day running around and collecting seven chickens and the reward I received was a pair of scissors, I'd probably be pretty disappointed. But in this game, totally fine. It's exactly what I needed. Poor bear looking sheep. But I got my first wool to deliver. Hey, wool! I need a bigger ball to make a sweater though. I know of, I think, three sheep around this little world. <laughs> uh... You shear it directly as a little ball of yarn, it, it skips, it's just plain wool phase. Uh... I need a bit more wool. Well, there's the one other sheep that uh... I confidently know where it is. Just over here next to Snail. Uh... Maybe that's it. She was just kind of saying like, oh, a bit more, a bit more. And so this, I think, would officially make uh, the last bit. Nice! This should be enough wool! Here! Wow, she's an amazingly fast knitter. Thank you! Thank you for this awesome, awesome-tastic sweater. The Scarecrow, the last thing they had said was, Oh, the fox has scissors. I'm a very patient Scarecrow. Alright, I just wanted to see what the new dialogue was. Also, new dialogue from the fox, I guess, because it doesn't have anything new to say. You can't use scissors on chickens! Who knew? Ah, he uh, chose the wrong profession. He either tried to choose his profession or his tools based entirely on one or the other and missed horribly. Alright, little penguin, you no longer need to be cold. Oh, that's much better. Thanks a lot. You're very, very welcome. What do you want, what do, you want to do now? Hop in this boat if you want to go to Secret Island. I do want to go to Secret Island. I'm going to take the carrot with me because I, I, I genuinely just don't know what else the carrot could be for. It's almost sad. The crow is so eager to get out of their house, but they just bail the second anyone gets anywhere near. It's like they're trying. Every single time they're trying to be a little bit more social, a little bit more outgoing, and then immediately they're like, no, F this, back, back to the house, not doing it today. I, uh, overestimated my confidence yet again. In I go, Ah, oh, I can't click the in button because you're busy holding the carrot. Well, I've yet to figure out what the carrot's for then. Oh, you can talk to him. I love to sail, but not when it's cold. It's got to be tough to be a penguin when you hate the cold so much. The secret I island, my home? I don't think so. You just gonna come hang out on the island with me? We're here. Let me know when you want to go. Bunny's house. This is my house. Yay! Open. It's locked. Well, that's disappointing, then, isn't it? Well, I don't know what to do out at Secret Island. I, I, I don't know what to do with my carrot. Do you want it? Are you sitting here just starving without any food? Do you want me to join you? I could, uh, 
No, that's just a sign. I thought it was a second seat. I thought maybe I could have a sit down with the guy in the restaurant. Well, I'm taking the carrot up to the giant pear then, I, I guess. Plug the hole, maybe? <laughs> Doesn't seem to do anything. Well, then I'll enter. Oh! Oh, I like how the way that the room gets lit itself looks like a little pear. In fact, I want to step out again. Oh, okay, w weird. It's just such a weird change from having uh, the full screen to such a small part that it made it look smaller. But that's totally just how big that pear is, just relative to a full screen. It's just not a very big thing. So, what's your deal, man? Maybe I should have made the cowboy game instead. <laughs> this is rough just in here, just contemplating, not dead in the graveyard. Turn off. No, 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 no! <laughs> well, didn't really figure out the carrot. I don't really think I figured out the secret island. My playtime was a lot longer than that. That was just having to replay things, get caught back up. This game actually has a bit of like a speed running challenge going on. There's people who have learned some skips. I totally mentioned this before, but yeah, people have it down to like five minutes. I could not do that. Let's see them do a hundred percent speed run though, because gathering all those chickens and everything take, takes a long time. <laughs> Well, if anyone knows what to do with the carrot, let me know, because I never figured it out. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you again with more Sock Pop tomorrow.